Mungule Farm belongs to the Presbytery of Muchinga. The Presbytery of Muchinga is part of the Uniting Presbyterian Church in Southern Africa. Mungule Farm is located near 10 miles in Lusaka. Mungule Farm rests on 10 acres of land. Recently, the Presbytery of Muchinga held prayers at Mungule to call upon God to guide them and provide the resources that are needed to develop the farm. The following is the documentary of the prayers that took place at Mongole. <laughs> Pantau, we are going into a time of declaration over this land. I don't know whether it's possible to walk through. Because what we can do, we are going to ask 10 people to create declaration. Aye? Declaration. It is often a 10 because the Bible says whatever you agree, it is agreed in heaven. Amen. So we want you not to a long prayer, just a very short, 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 just 10 people. 10. Then he, yeah, ten people would declare declaration over this land, being able to speak and say, we want to see this God in this land. We want to see the following here in this land. We want to see God prosper us and progress us. So we are declaring here. And then when we declare, it is our spirits that are walking around this place and declaring the mercy of God. So I'm going to ask just ten. Why the big number? Because it's all of us who should have walked, but because the land is a big sang. <laughs> it will be very difficult to walk into this sang. So I just want to ask ten. Any ten. So just count yourself, me, one of them, so until 10. And when the 10 have done that, then the convener will close off because he's the one who has the vision bringing us up here to close off that part of declaration. And after we've done the declaration, we receive the announcements, we are done with the program. All right, so 10 people. Um, <laughs> So let's pray. We need 10 people to lead us. We are all going to agree. Anyone to go ahead. Father, we thank you, we give you glory, we give you all the honor and praise in this particular moment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, mm. we pray for your anointing upon this land, oh my Jesus God. Lord. We declare your presence, Jehovah Master. Yes. We pray that, Sovereign Master, mm. this land shall be fruitful, oh my yes. God. Yes. In the Jesus. mighty name, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, yes. we declare your presence, King of glory. Yes. We declare that, Jehovah Master, mm. may you alone arise as never before. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, the Jehovah yes, God, mm. your presence shall never leave your this place. Oh, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. Hallelujah. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we mm. declare that where we stand on, yes. it 
is the land a gift from our Lord Jehovah. Yes. Yes. For he has the plans which he has for us mm. to utilize this land. Yes. Let he always bring glory for the hand to you. Mm. He always guide us for that as we utilize it. Mm. To the glory of your kingdom. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Yehova tiku kwezani mm. Chifukwa inu dinu wa mkulu Pamele mm. chita na inu ambuye mm. Lekani malo ano Jehova mm. Yakalete ule melelo ambuye Sibe mpamuzina la Yesu Kristo mm. Uti kupitira mumalo ano ambuye mm. Inu muza chita za zikulu Kwa tika ministry i mm. Uti Yehova inu muza kwezedwa mm. Uti ambili ambuye pamene iu wa chita benefit Zinalano lika kwezedwe Uti chita declare izi muzina la Yesu Kristo Uti ambuye Ambuye chiri chonse pamalo ano ambuye mm. Tizangala kuchokerela oh, Chamene ife ana ano ambuye mm. Tizangala kufaka pamalo ano mm. Muzina la Yesu Kristi Earth as witnesses mm. And we know that the angels are with us right now Yes And we know the Lord that which has been declared yes. Has been established in Jesus' name yes. Your name be praised yes. Your name be glorified yes. May you unfold your plans Lord yes. For this place mm. Not for our glory, but for your glory and praise. Mm. We pray of all these things in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our antenna and loving Father, we are grateful. We're grateful to you for the way you're guiding us through this program. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this fellowship of prayer. Thank you for the words that we have, Lord, listened to. We thank you, Father, that we understand from the point of Scripture that when you're about to make a man great, you grant them access to land. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. We know, Jehovah, that our destinies cannot be ordinary mm. because indeed of your promise of greatness mm. that you've released in our life. Mm. Now, Father, in agreement to that word, we lay down this sacrifice oh, yes. of, of, of in monetary form mm. unto this altar that mm. indeed you alone by your own special grace Mm. You have built in this place. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord, our prayer is that they will speak on our behalf. Mm. Yes, Lord, we raise them to your altars mm. that are in heaven. Mm. Mm. That whatever things the Lord you have destined mm. to happen upon this place, mm. Father, mm. there is nothing that will stand in hindrance mm. to those plans. Mm. You've said those mm. plans you have for us, those <coughs> plans to prosper us. Mm. And Father, you've said in your words mm. that when we come before you, when we seek, Lord, mm. when you ask in mm. your name, and Father, when we when we knock, mm. you yes. shall continue giving us, Lord, in abundance. Mm. Yes. And Lord, we pray that, Father, yes. indeed our visits to this place and mm. our prayers offered in this place mm. can never go in vain. Yes. Because we know he that seated on the throne that is above every brother throne against our prayers. Yes. And this is what gives us hope that, Lord, you have answered our mm. prayers. Oh, yes. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, we prayed. Amen. 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 We are very grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I I want us to pay attention when God showed Abraham the land and said, It shall be for your offspring. At that place where God appeared to Abraham, the Bible says he built an altar mm. in that place mm -hmm. where God showed him. An altar is a place we know that they used to offer sacrifice in the Old Testament. In Tumbuka we can say, Jochero mm. Yasembe, a place uh, where you have to 
give some sacrifice and God has to receive it. Even in the tabernacle arrangement, there was a place which was God and altar, a place where sacrifices were given. When we think about an altar in our homes, it's a place we have, I don't know, uh, separated in our bedroom, in our sitting room, where we say to ourselves, here, I will be meeting my God, I will be praying to my God. Hmm. It's critical because the altar is kind of a connection between ourselves here on earth and God himself. The altar can be interpreted in different ways. Our individual lives, ma moyoyatu, can be the altar also. Mm. But in the context of where we are here, this land, physically we may not have built an altar, but when we say it, we declare it, a particular place that that shall be a place that we have considered to have built an altar, God will honor us. Remember, the Bible says in Matthew, whatever you agree here on earth, it is also agreed in heaven. Amen. Whatever you bind here on earth, it's also bound in heaven. So, I am not a And so, because it's just like a bush, but there is a spiritual connection. Mm -hmm. So, for our presbytery, I'm very excited because this is symbolic. Mm -hmm. We are a representative of the presbytery. Amen. We are declaring on this land mm -hmm. that this shall be a place where God is going to meet us. Amen. This shall be an environment where you know, skills are going to come out and Amen. be exported to this Amen. Africa Amen. and uh, outside Africa. Amen. This place, when we look at it, an altar, it shall be a place where lives are going to be changed. But mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. maybe junks and so on. This, when we declare, it shall be a place where we shall cry for mm -hmm. people and they shall come to God. Amen.